<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Just over two weeks ago, in the early hours of the morning, I was suddenly taken very ill. Being due to celebrate in both churches on Trinity Sunday, Reverend Michael stepped into and covered all saints church and Reverend Anne took service at St. James. A big thank you to both of them and to the church wardens for taking the worry away from me. Now, two weeks later, following the result of a test from my GP that my GP sent being returned positive, I've been referred to QA hospital under the two week urgent referral system. And I'm now waiting for phone calls. I am struggling to accept how quick the events happened from sitting at Di's house, enjoying a perfectly lovely cup of tea and slice of homemade chocolate cake on Thursday afternoon to being really unwell a few hours later. I can assure you the cake was very yummy and had nothing to do with me becoming ill. Following the phone call from my GP, I have to admit a few tears. At the moment, though, still feeling unwell and very tired due to being anemic, I am confident that God is on the case, but still worried about what's going to happen next. I think that's the trouble with having worked in the medical world. You know, some of these weird and wonderful tests that they can do aren't always the most pleasant things. During all this time, I have known and continue to feel the love and prayers of all my Christian friends, and I thank you for that. Sometimes we become unbelieving about prayer because we don't see immediate uh, answers or the answers we actually want. And sometimes the, the answers we demand of God. And we make incorrupt, incorrect, not incorrupt, incorrect assumptions about the nature of God, that he is unkind or uncaring. Nothing could be further from the truth. The fact that if every prayer uttered by is heard by God and is answered in God's time and his good, good and pleasing will. He sees what we don't see, under thing, understands the things we cannot comprehend, and he is always good. God speaks, but most of us don't hear God audibly, but he whispers often. The fleeting thought that we need a butterfly net to catch the person that suddenly and persistently comes into our mind. The prayer that keeps rising up within us are all examples of ways in which God reaches out to us, prompts us and turns our thoughts to things and people that are on his mind. He does these things so that we can pray about something or someone, get in touch with someone with a word of encouragement or follow a certain course of action. And something, my friends, I have been grateful for in abundance with all the texts, visits, emails, phone calls, flowers, you name it. I'm so grateful to all of you. Him often. He'll fill that space with his presence. Or a word from scripture. He speaks through his word when the Bible verse suddenly gives us goosebumps. We test it appears to be spot on. We've sought his will. When he asks, we ask him to fling open the doors or close them. When we put down that fleece and seek a particular response for him. Still, we ignore it and say, no, it's a figment of my imagination. But God is persistent. He moves, speaks through unexpected connections, arranging for people's needs to be met, following chance conversation or timely introductions. How many times have you been thinking of somebody and you've maybe phoned them up and they're in quite a bad way? Something's happened or they've lost a loved one 
or as I had called to do last year, I phoned somebody I used to work with. I hadn't spoken to her for years and I was updating my address book, found her number, so I phoned her. And sadly, she died four weeks later. Um, so God obviously put this lady on my mind. Of course, it is encouraging when we see clear answers to prayers for healing, new jobs, restoration of relationships, a change in our circumstances, and our don't see things happen just when we want them to. But don't convince yourself that God sent his only son Jesus to earth with the primary purpose to die for our forgiveness and redemption and of an uncaring God. So when we see or face Let's offer up a prayer to our Father in heaven and keep offering regardless of what we see because we very often God works behind the scenes in ways that only one day will be revealed to us. A relationship with God is never boring because he is the God of the supernatural and the unexpected. We could say that these are all coincidences but why not give God the glory and thank him for orchestrating and speaking into our lives. And please never feel you're being selfish if you pray for yourself. It's something along with all the other people that have asked for my prayers that I am doing every day. Yes, I'm frightened, but I know God is on the case. He will be with me in whatever happens. Amen.